Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel. I've always been a game designer by heart, always making my own cards for card games I played, previously Arson and now Legends of Runeterra. But since now I have a YouTube channel, I thought why not sharing it in the channel? The idea started with the desire to create a keyword and design the champion and his package and archetype slash playstyle from it. I ended up thinking that we miss damage over time damage in Legends of Runeterra, and its usual forms are either poison, fire or bleeding. We already have poison, and I thought that bleed is too generic as a keyword, but definitely doable. Let me know if you want me to do that, by the way. Instead, fire is much more evocative, and I had the perfect champion to introduce this mechanic. Before diving in, let's take a look at the keyword itself, a blades. At the start of every round, any ablades unit takes one damage, but it can also be activated or triggered by other effects. An obvious synergy is tough, completely denying this damage. Another synergy is the mechanic of surviving damage, which by the way could have its own keyword, rage for example. In this way, you get constant amount of triggers for that kind of effect. Yet another synergy is healing, because before healing, we need to have been damaged. This, in my opinion, is a good design practice, designing elements that interact with each other well. Fire Maniac is a 1 mana 2 4 with a blades on itself. We see that it is way overstated, but we know that he is doomed to die. It's almost like a ephemeral, but the health acts like a counter. On average, he still acts as a 2 2, as if this attacks or blocks into a 2 1, he is dying before having the chance of attacking again. So, Freljord as well gains a premium 1 drop, which is fair considering the region team. In Ablaze archetypes, this is a cheap and consistent way of getting an Ablaze trigger or synergy, which does not require additional setup. Wild Paramancer is a 2 mana 1 3 with round start, a blaze the weakest unit. Here's where things get juicier. The wording means that it is grants a blaze to any weakest unit on the board, either friend or foe. Maybe I should have made that clear with better wording, but now that you know that, you may ask why is it good to occasionally ablaze your own units? First of all, some units and effects care about how many units with a blaze there are on the board, either friend or foe. Therefore, spreading the fire uncontrollably is still a desirable outcome. Or you may want to purposefully damage your own units, think about Brom or Vrina, etc. With this new way to deal damage so easily to your own units, those could be nerfed, but I doubt that Scared Reaver or Skartain Stefan would ever become broken. Another synergy could be, as I said previously, to damage your own Soraka, or always making sure that Starspring heals at least one health to all ablazed units. Fire Channeler is a 3 mana 3 2 with attack for each unit with a blaze on the board, deal 1 damage to the enemy Nexus. This is one of the two cards that I think could end up being too broken, but I would need to actually test them in game to actually decide. If it is indeed too broken, I would either increase the cost by a lot and increase the stats accordingly so that it remains a finisher but with the proper cost of a finisher, or the other solution could be to make it deal just 1 damage if there is an ablazed unit, still on attack or maybe at the start of any round. Anyway, I thought that this is not too broken, because early on you won't have all that many ablaze units, therefore you won't deal all that much damage and it could still be removed after just one attack or even before attacking. Later on, you won't have all that many ablaze units because they have the tendency to die as time goes on. The obvious synergy is to have scar grounds on the board so that your ablaze units keep on surviving, but you are reducing the board space by one and you're not taking into account that there is also another person on the other side which is not a dummy and will interact with your board. So I doubt we will ever see a fire channeler eating for 12 damage on attack, but the possibility is still there. I'm yet to decide if kegs or fanasmith basically double the effect, but I will go for a yes, as it opens up a lot of many other intriguing archetypes, which if would ever end up being too broken, could be fixed by the two reworks I already proposed before. The Kindler is a 4 mana 4-4 four four with a blades and fearsome, and also a text which reads attack, trigger all ablades on enemy units. Nice pun on the already existing Derek Hindler, but I couldn't come up with a name more fitting for this idea, and it is fun anyway, so... By the way, this card not only basically acts like an AoE of 1 damage on enemy units, but it also comes with OK stats. The drawback is again the clock given by the ablades synergy, which is used by other units as a synergy. In particular, triggering a blaze multiple times synergizes very well with a bad boy we're gonna see later. Fire Elemental is a 5 mana 0 5 with a blaze, overwhelm, and quick attack, and also a text which reads I cost one less for each friendly unit with a blaze, 
Round start, give me plus one plus zero for each other friendly unit with a blade. This is the other tough call I was mentioning before. The dream is to cast this on turn 5 with another 5 drop at 0 mana, and then going for an insane attack next turn where this becomes a 5 5 with overwhelm and quick attack. But I still think it is balanced because, again, keeping a blade's units alive is difficult. The turn this enters the board it is basically useless, even if it costs 0, and this unit itself is slowly dying. If this ever becomes 2 OP, just reducing itself to 2 should do the job. Much easier to just get removed or dying after the first attack, which still requires a lot of preparation. Burn is a 2 mana fast speed spell, which reads trigger a blaze on all units. Not much going on here, this could be a nice AoE, which requires a setup, or an additional way to boost the bad boy. Set on Fire is a 3 mana fast speed spell, which reads grant a blade to a unit, if it already has a blades, deal 3 damage to it. Most of the times you want to use this as a removal, but having a secondary effect, if the condition is not met, is a feature that is nice to have on any conditional card. Pyroclasm is a 4 mana slow speed spell, which reads deal 1 damage to the 4 weakest units on board, if the targeted unit has a blades, deal 4 damage instead. This is an interesting card. With the right setup, you could almost nuke your opponent board. But again, it requires a lot of preparation, and we have go hard in the game anyway, so... By the way, I think that this represents the ultimate of Brand quite well. And here he is, Brand himself. He is a 4 mana, 2-6, with a blades, when a survived damage, a blades the weakest enemy unit. To level up, a blades trigger 10 plus time. When he levels up, is a 3-7, actually, there is a typo there, still 4 mana, with a blades and overwhelm. When a survive damage, a blades the weakest enemy unit, and also, when a blades triggers, give me plus 1 plus 0 this round. Its base form joins together the two purely Freljordian mechanics, them being the new ablades and the old when a survive damage conditional. From its own ablades, Brand grants ablades to an enemy unit every round, and by the way, it works in the same way as stun, meaning that if the weakest target already has ablades, it targets the second weakest, then the third, and so on. The level up condition works by himself alone, but of course, having a dedicated deck can speed it up. A level up which is quite fast already, and indeed could be nerfed to I've seen a blade trigger 10 plus times, although I prefer keeping it an ongoing progress and rather increasing its number requirement to 15 or even 20, if it is that much too strong. In its level up form, it can grow to become a beast, acting a bit like Trundle, but potentially much earlier and in a much deadlier way, as Brand can grow by 12 attack every round, because yes, it is not specified friendly or foe, and can also be activated multiple times by the Kindler or Burn to make this champion a deadly finisher. In the end, I think the most successful archetype could be with Brom, Scar Grounds, and maybe some Crimson package units, like Crimson Disciple, further adding the component of surviving damage, burning both literally and also metaphorically by dealing direct damage. Other cards could find their place in existing archetypes, for example Wild Pyromancer in a Soraka regen in Freljord, or in a Vladimir deck without necessarily going all in into the Ablades synergy. It is a keyword that could easily fit into many regions, as fire is a pretty simple and diffused concept, for example by the belligerent Noxus or by the plundering Bilgewater. It won't be as generic and diffused as evergreen keywords like overwhelm or quick attack, but it is also less specific than deep or augment. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this and I'm looking forward to do this again, and also, come on Riot, just hire me as a designer already. Let me know if you like this concept, what would you improve, what would you change, and if you want me to make more cards to sustain this archetype more, either directly or with supporting cards not directly tied to a blaze, but which still synergizes with it, or even better if you want me to spread this keyword in different regions and basically make this in into a mini expansion. If you want to talk with me more, I'll share with you my social links down below, especially my Discord server, in which there is a dedicated channel for custom cards, which I will review in my YouTube channel. Channel. Anyway, that's it for this video, and as always, see ya!